This is question 49 of civil engineering paper of gate 2016 afternoon session. A tracer takes 100 days to travel from whale 1 to whale 2 which are 100 meter apart. The elevation of water surface in whale 2 is 3 meter below that in whale 1. Assuming porosity equal to 15 percent, the coefficient of permeability is. So, in this question, there are two whales, whale 1 and whale 2, which are 100 meter apart. The elevation of water surface in whale 2 is 3 meter below that in whale 1. So, since there is a head difference, so due to this 3 meter head difference, there will be seepage. So, here it is given that a tracer takes 100 days to travel from whale 1 to whale 2. So, due to this 3 meter head difference, there is a seepage and a tracer takes 100 days to travel from one uh, whale 1 to whale 2 and which are 100 meter apart it is given in the question. Now, the porosity of that soil is given as 15 percent and we need to compute the coefficient of permeability. So, this question is from the topic of permeability of soil. You may study about permeability and, uh, and the law behind this permeability of soil uh, in lecture 9 permeability and seepage soil mechanics geotechnical engineering 1 by professor Dilip Kumar by the IIT Khadakpur. So, now here it is given in this question a tracer takes 100 days to travel from point 1 or place 1 to place 2 which are 100 meter apart. So, simply we can write distance we know simply distance is equal to velocity into time, velocity into time. So, here the distance is given as 100 meter and v just uh, assume uh, v is the velocity, seepage velocity, this is seepage velocity into time, time it takes 100 days. So, we can say the velocity or seepage velocity comes as 1 meter per day. Now, we know the Darcy's law, Darcy's law, it says that discharge velocity is directly proportional to the hydraulic gradient. So, V d is equal to k into i where i is the proportionality constant and it is called coefficient of permeability. Now, here we need to compute this k, i which is hydraulic gradient and i is equal to head difference divided by distance between them length, this is length. So, head difference divided by length. del h by l. So, del h that is head difference. So, head difference is given in this question 3 meter and length is 100 meter apart. So, this is 100. So, we can say this is 0 0.03. This is uh, hydraulic gradient. Now, V d. So, we know there is a equation or there is a relationship between discharge velocity and seepage velocity. So, we know that discharge velocity V d is equal to seepage velocity into porosity. So, here we got this uh, seepage velocity as 1 meter per day, porosity as 15 percent. So, it becomes 0 0.15 meter per day. Now, substituting all this data in this equation, V d which, uh, which is 0 0.15 k we need to compute and i is 0 0.03. Now, from here we can get k as this is 5 meter per day. So, we got the coefficient of permeability of the soil 
as 5 meter per day. So, here we can say the coefficient of permeability is 5 meter per day. So, option D is the correct answer for this question. Thank you.